a user requested that I make an install video for my Fallout 3 Vertebrate mod. And I do think that's a good idea, so I'm going to provide some information on that. And the first thing is the mod needs um, Fallout Script Extender or Fossey to run. And I have downloaded Fossey here. And for Fossey to work, it needs um, 1.7.0.3 version. And that's uh, where we run into our first problem if you have Steam because um, Steam is patched to 1.7.0.4 so it will never work. And to get around that problem I download this um, Fallout Anniversary Patcher which I got from the Nexus as well. And I just extract the files into this directory for the game itself and uh, run the patcher. And it creates a backup of the original dot four and creates the new dot downgraded dot three. Um, GOG already comes as dot three, so it doesn't need to be downgraded. Uh, but there is a patch for GOG here as well because apparently this patcher does more than just downgrade it; also does some important things which I actually don't know what they are. Apparently it makes it uh, um, large memory space aware and does some stability fixes and I'm not sure all what. But like I said, I don't have the GOG installed here so I can't speak to that. So, and then uh, the other thing I guess is as far as you can have the original disk or GOG or Steam I know those are all valid choices and I know there's a bunch of other versions of the game that Fossey will never support. So the bottom line is you need to get a version of the game that Fossey will support because the mod needs Fossey to run. So we have Steam all ready to go and we just need our, our mod installed. And we have all of the DLC here because we're going to need broken steel for is a requirement for the mod and we could take the mod and just extract these two files into uh, our data folder so we'll do that and we'll uh, run the launcher again and we'll see that it, it indeed does have this in the list and it's enabled so that would be good to go if we wanted to do it that way and we can see that here's our two mod files so we'll get rid of those again we'll go back to our launcher and everything's still enabled but now that's missing so that's good and our next problem would be a mod manager for people that have more complicated setups, which would probably be about everyone, I assume. Surely it would be me. Um, I use Mod Organizer 2, and I absolutely love it. I can't recommend it highly enough. But it, I suppose it is more complicated to use, which is kind of one of its benefits, because normally people doing Fallout 3 have really complicated setups, but um, I'm going to use um, Vortex because I do suppose a lot of people think Vortex is easier to use. So we need to find Fallout. And we have Fallout here. And then we'll Um, so then it gives us this message and it's saying that it wants to change these files but I definitely do not want to click fix and that's up to you but um, the thing about Mod Organizer 2 is um, all of the stuff that it does is uh, virtual and so you really can't mess anything up but as far as Vortex goes if you click fix and you don't know what it's doing uh, we it's working on the actual file so 
it's a lot more dangerous. And as far as Vortex knowing what it's doing, uh, we're going to get to that in a second. How much confidence you would have in that. So now we take our mod, which you could just also, I'm not logged in. I always um, just drop the files on here manually. And we're ready to install. And now we have a new problem. We're missing, we're missing a master. Um, we're missing broken steel. Really, how, how can we be missing broken steel? Because we just um, saw that we had all the DLC. So what for what for heck, what Vortex has done is when it installed um, this mod, it disabled all of the DLC, including the DLC that this mod needed. Uh, so that is makes you wonder about uh, how much confidence you should have in letting Vortex do things that you don't know what it's doing. And sometimes you don't have any choice. It just does it anyway. So we have to re-enable all of those and now we have a new problem in that it's telling this is in incompatible. It's made for oblivion. Um, but this is made with the tools that were available at the time it was created, which was many, 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 over half a decade ago. So um, we, well, I'm just going to tell you to ignore that. And even if you did want to play Fallout from here, um, Vortex can't do that either. So Vortex um, has some issues with Fallout. Um, it has some issues with um, Fast Vampire the Masquerade. We've already seen some pretty serious issues. But once you get this set up and you get your mods going and hopefully it enables them and keeps track of them and it looks like it did sort them correctly and this 06 index, we're going to have to remember that. Uh, it's the index number of where this mod exists. So since we can't launch it from here, we're all done here. And we'll have to launch it from, if you were on GOG, you would launch it from however GOG does it. But we're on Steam, so we just launch it from Steam. And we hit play. have a load set up here N normally we would um, play the game and through quests or exploring in the wastelands you'd discover the vertebrate control but we're just going to use a cheat um, so here's where the 06 is that whatever number was the index on your mod manager you would put that here and 065631 whoops wrong key wrong key again so there is the vertebrate bird controller so we know that um, the mods in the game and it's working now so that's a beautiful thing. And I believe that's everything I can think of. Just, um, the only tricks are you need a supported version for Fosse. Um, you get Fosse installed. And then you just get your mod manager set up and it should be good to go. So hopefully that was helpful and thank you for watching.